Hey everyone, I'm Gwen from Nye, and today I want to show you the absolutely easiest way to add authentication for a multi-tenant application. I'm going to jump right into how to do it. If you need more background about Nylos and why we need a special system for multi-tenant authentication, I'll point to the other video where I explain all that. So. I'm going to show you how to add authentication for multi-tenant application in Next.js. We'll do another video for Remix, for Express, for all the other frameworks. Step one, we need to create an example Next.js app just as a template that we can start building with it. We're going to use all the default Next. You can see that I'm basically saying yes to all the defaults. This means we're going to get app routing, we're going to get TypeScript, we're going to get Tailwind. We created it, you can see all the files that Next.js requires and all the source code is under SRC. Step two, we need to configure our database credentials. We're going to log into Nile and grab our database credentials. This signed me right into my database because I have a database. If you don't have a database, create one, create two, create 10, create half a million. They are free, they are unlimited. You can have as many of them as you want. Since I already have my favorite database here, let's go to settings, connection, and you see the box over here? This is where we get the environment variables we're going to need. So we just go here, generate credentials, copy. Paste it into place. Step three, installing dependencies. Nile has server library and the React library. We're going to need both. Full stack up. Okay, we have dependencies, and now we're going to build the API routes. So we'll go into SRC and we're going to create, we said that it's an app router, so routes go in the app directory. So here's our route directory, we'll go in there. And it's gonna be two files one for instantiating the Nile object and another for exposing the routes. Here I am instantiating a Nile object. Configure anything because I have everything I need in my environment variables. But if you were to configure it, this is where the configuration would go in, inside the call to Nile. Once we instantiate the Nile, we say, please give us all the handlers for Nile APIs. And the next file, we're going to expose them as part of our application. So we're going to create route TS. All we're doing is exposing the handlers. Nile server library is going to make sure <laughs> all the correct uh, authentication SDKs are available here. And now it's time to actually create our web page so people can log in. We open page.tsx since this time around it's an actual page and not uh, just a route. You can see there is already a pretty involved example from Vercel. We don't need that, so we are going to delete it all. We're going to replace it with our code. Interesting bits about our code. We're importing a bunch of components from Nile React. You can also see that we're importing styles. I like our styles. I think they look nice. If you don't like our styles, use whatever CSS style sheet you like. Our components are very similable with Shad CN. If you already have your favorite Shad CN sim, you can delete the import and it will style 
with whatever style you chose for the rest of your application. We have two parts here. What to show if a user is not signed in and then what to show if a user is signed in. If you are not signed in, all we do is show you a sign up page. If you are signed in, we show you several things. We show you your user information. We show you a tenant selector so you can create and switch between tenants. And we also give you a sign out button so you can sign out. Okay, we have all that. Let's run her up. Okay, here's the sign up page. This is our beautifully styled component. And I can enter whatever email I want right now because it's just test up. If you configure your own database, you can configure things like email verification and then you wouldn't be able to enter whatever email you want. But right now I'm just entering something. Okay. And you can see that something is <laughs> logged in. This is the user info. This is the tenant switcher. I can create new tenant. Here we are and we can sign out. Three simple steps and you created authentication, but I want to show you one more thing. One of the things we really believe in in Nile is that user information belongs in your database, not in some third party authentication. Let me show you the user information in my database. So this is the same database you've seen earlier. If you look at tenants, there will be a few tenants because I've been playing with it, but here's the two tenants I created if I go to users, I can see an older user and the users they created right now. Now, if we go back to the example page, you can see that this user has this circle, the default user image. When you style it, you can replace it with a different default. Let me put an actual profile image here. It's on my database, so I can do it by just running an update. and run this and you can see that I successfully updated the user. Now, if I go back to this page and refresh, this is much more like me, much better picture. So today you learned how to use Nylos to create simple sign up. Nylos has a lot more features. You can use SSO, you have all the social logins, you have email validation, password research, all kinds of stuff. We just show you a tiny bit and we wanted to show you how easy it is to use. And then as a bonus, I also showed you how to, your users can enjoy cat pictures in their profiles. Now, if you want to try it, go to our website, go to our docs. You will get detailed explanation, what I've shown you here, plus a lot more. And you can join our Discord. Good place to ask us questions and show off what you built and what applications you added authentication to. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about authentication and multi-tenancy from this video. Happy hacking.